Hello, book leaguers. It's my privilege to read you a story from Suzanne Tate's nature series. We call her Auntie in my family, and she's an amazing woman. She's written 40 books in the nature series so far, and each one is a wealth of information on wildlife, protecting animals in the environment, and some life lessons as well. I hope you enjoy these stories as much as our family has over the years. Without further ado, I present to you Merry Manatee, A Tale of Sea Cows, written by Suzanne Tate, illustrated by James Melvin. Mary Manatee was a sea cow. She weighed over a thousand pounds. But Mary was shy and harmless, a gentle giant. Mary Manatee was hungry all of the time. Humans called her an eating machine. Every day, Mary merrily munched a bunch of plants for lunch. Floating plants grew in the waterways where Mary lived. She would grab them with her bristly lips. Mary Manatee moved slowly in the water. She was propelled by her broad, round tail. And she had to come up for air, just like humans. All anyone could see in the water were Mary's nostrils. One day, Mary Manatee gave birth to a big baby. He weighed 65 pounds. His name was Mikey. Like his mother, Mikey Manatee had a hairy face and bristly lips. He had a face only a mother could love. Mikey Manatee stayed close by his mother's side. He could not live without her. She was his teacher. When he was just a newborn calf, Mary taught him to come up for air. Squeak! Squeal! Mary Manatee squeaked and squealed much of the time. She wanted to let Mikey know where she was. And Mikey was a good baby. He would answer his mother with chirps and squeals. There were no natural enemies to fear in the waterways, but Mary Manatee worried about boats. Boats ran up and down the waterways. It was getting crowded there. Look out for that boat! Mary would squeal to Mikey, and Mikey would swim close by her side. But Mikey grew older and more playful and daring. One day, a boat came by. There was a little girl riding in it. She saw Mikey and waved to him. I'll just follow that boat, thought Mikey. He wanted to be friendly. The boat pulled up to a dock, and the little girl jumped out. Hi there, hairy mouth Harry, she said. Mikey Manatee was happy. He had a new friend. He didn't even mind being called hairy mouth Harry. But Mary Manatee was not happy. She didn't want Mikey near that boat. The boat's propellers could hurt him badly. Come back, come back, she squealed as she swam up. I wish I could stay, chirped Mikey. But he did what his mother said. He swam back to her side. As the days went by, Mikey began to swim farther away from his mother. One day... He swam near a canal gate in the waterway. The gate was open to let a boat pass through. Maybe my new friend is in that boat, thought Mikey, and he followed the boat through the gate. But he didn't see the little girl, and the gate closed behind him. All of a sudden, he couldn't swim back to his mother. Mikey Manatee was frightened. He sent out squeaks and squeals. Mary Manatee had good ears. She could hear him through the gate. She squeaked and squealed too. Humans who tended the gate heard all that squealing. They saw the unhappy manatees. Oh, we will open the gate for that mother manatee and her calf, they said. When the gate opened, Mikey swam quickly to his mother's side. He was so happy that he did a barrel roll in a somersault. Mary was feeling thankful for helpful humans. You suited this manatee to a T, she thought silently. We need more of you. Mary and Mikey Manatee swam merrily away in the waterway. Mother and calf were safely together again. The End